Hey guys. Hi. How are ya? How you doing? How's your family? What you doing? I know what you're doing. You're watching this video or you're looking at another video on whatever side the video's on. I'm not that clever. Don't, don't do another video. Just let me explain what this is. You, I mean, just don't click away. It's not that long a video. <laughs> this is another blendiful first impression and I am very excited about it. I love makeup sponges and makeup applicators and all that stuff. I just, I, I, I love them. So, I mean, oh, you can see my computer. <gasps> How unprofessional. That and my wrinkly, wrinkly shirt. I'm not gonna go back and redo anything. So we've got this teeny, 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 tiny little, little sponge. Cup. And we've got the big sponge. Big, wonderful thing. It's so soft. And I will admit, I'm a little um, daunted by this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've seen reviews and I've seen people use it and I have no idea what I am doing. So, I mean, let's watch this train wreck of a girl test this out. I have primed my face already with the Juno & Co Moonshine Primer. I've done all my skincare from Beauty Pie. I've done all that. I've done my mascara. I've done my brows. And that's all I'm going to do so we can focus on the blendiful. It's so big. <laughs> that's what she said. That's inappropriate. Alright, so I am going to use my Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. And, oh, I'm so I need to massage because I'm nervous. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. I want it to go well, you know? Because I'm going to apply like all the powder and, you know, blush and highlight and all that stuff. And I just want it to go well, you know? So, all right. So I'm going to put a little of my foundation on the back of my hand and I guess. I've seen, I'm gonna dot it on my face, I think. Just dot some on one side of my face. Not too much, because I don't know how much coverage this will give. And uh, let's see how this goes, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I don't know, do you pat, do you wipe? I mean, I've seen differing opinion. Mm -hmm. Panning seems to be doing alright. Let's try wiping. Gently wiping. That's nice. I'm kind of like gently pat wiping. right here and do my nose again I am like I'm pat wiping so like I'm doing like this so I'm not I'm not doing either one specifically and right now I think I'm gonna pat my nose because my nose is not cooperating my nose just wants to look dry like always. I mean, it doesn't look as bad as usual. Just take my time. It's so soft. I think I'm gonna go like this. Yeah. I'm not using a little handle thing right now. 
patting on my nose. That is wiping more. Nope, it just removes coverage. Don't do that. Don't do that on your nose. Don't, don't wipe on your nose. All right. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, my nose looks how it always looks, but everything else looks pretty good. All right, all right. Let's see, I've done a little bit on this side, but this side right here is done. So is my nose. What do we think? My nose actually looks pretty good. Huh. It looks good. Hmm. Put more on the back of my hand because I've learned from Robert Welsh not to splatter it all over your face with the applicator. Don't do that. That's wasteful. Pat wipe, pat wipe, pat wipe. This is nice. have to do my eyelids because I have veiny eyelids. But I'll do that maybe with a little baby one. I don't know. All right. Now I've got a scar up here so I'll have to do concealer but I seem to be using a little bit more product than I'm used to but I'm not complaining. Definitely not complaining about that. Let's go back in. I think this is something I'm just gonna have to like keep working with, you know? Looks much better with my ring light over here than it does my ring light right here. My skin is dewy without like having like this mask look. Now I'm just gonna pat all over. Ooh. The little handle is being weird. Oh, did I make it go inside out? I did. Okay. Alright, so right now I'm just going over everything and kind of just patting it. Oh, getting some hair in it. And this foundation is really dewy, but usually it feels like, like really sticky. Like I have stuff on my face, but right now it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's because I didn't use like a, a wet beauty sponge like I usually do. This is nice. The finish is real nice and my camera is about to stop me so I'm gonna have to do my concealer in another portion but I mean it covered up my scar real well. The coverage is great. All right. I wonder if I could just like pat, yeah, just patting over my eye with a little bit of the foundation covered up the veins. So I think all I need to do is just some concealer down here and then we can get started on the cream and powder products. Looks good so far. I mean, it's nice. And I will be right back. All right. So I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer because it is the closest. Alright, so this is the closest to my skin tone and I don't really want a white cast on my face today. Getting it here, getting it here. Alright. Now 
let's try this little baby one. Little baby. It's a little hard to pick up, but I'm gonna do the same and just gently pat. Okay. Well, that, that was easy. It's done. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that wasn't a fluke. No. That wasn't a fluke. Look, look at my under eyes. They're like done. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay, Tati. Okay. It's nice. I know my eyelids look a little dark, but I don't have any shadow on. I didn't really want to distract from the product itself. So, I... Look, look, all right, well my bags are gone, looks good, all right then, fine, be great, <laughs> okay, 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 so I'm going to use a cream blush from Colourpop, it is 25 over 8, that's the color, beautiful name. Beautiful. All right, so let's just go. All right. And I don't know what end to use, so I'm just gonna use like the very top. And just pat it in. I use too much to use it out. Foundation. I'm using the foundation end because I used way too much. And now it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. <sighs> what? How is my complexion so great right now? Is it from like skincare or is it really this thing? Because I would really, really love to know. Because that's all it took. What? I'm being loud. But this is beautiful, Tati. And you'll never see this. But it's natural and beautiful and shh computer i'm talking to tati shh i love it i don't i like i don't even need to powder my face okay so let's try some highlight i'm going to be using my let's set my big mirror down my Mellow Stardust Glow palette, and I'm going to be using the Star right here. It's just the more neutral one. And I'm going to be using this pointy end right here. So, let's see. Oh, that is a lot of highlighter. just, it's, okay, it's beautiful. Oh, 
Okay, fine. Be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I didn't even need to spray it or, or anything. I have 35,000 brushes and this is applying everything. I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge Tati fan, okay? I'm not, I'm not the biggest Tati fan. Like, I'll watch her sometimes, but this, 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 this is, it's great. I mean, it just, it applied highlighter beautifully. Okay, well then maybe we'll try the, the, the bronzer. Try a little bronzer. <sighs> okay, I'm nervous about the bronzer. I'm always nervous about the bronzer because I am white. a decent amount of color without being way too much. And I don't really bronze up here because I have bangs, but I mean, I think it is gorgeous. Beautiful. Like my highlight. Look. <laughs> I'm so happy because I have a million brushes and I spend like an hour trying to clean them all. Like, 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 brushes, 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 all these brushes, all of them. And, and just this, this, this took over all these brushes. I, I, I don't, I mean, it didn't take over the eye brushes, but this is crazy business. It's crazy. I, I love it. I mean, it'll take some more practice, some more getting used to, but it's, it's beautiful. Uh, my computer's gonna cut me off again. I'll be right back. All right, so my final thoughts. Um, let's start with the tiny one. The tiny one did great with my concealer, like fantastic. I usually have a lot of trouble with creasing and with too much moisture and even though I have really dry skin, too much moisture. And I just applied like a tiny amount. Uh, like uh, I've been watching a lot of Robert Welsh, I believe that's his name. And he says to apply some here and up here and then blend and then bring it down, which really helped. But it blended fantastically and it, it, I, I haven't needed to powder and I see no creasing at all. Um, the Big Mama here, I mean, it's it's nice to hold. It, I mean, mine didn't really get all that dirty, but I don't, I didn't use a whole bunch of makeup, so it's it's hard to say. Um, I did use a little, a little bit more foundation than I normally would, but. Um, that's a small price to pay for not having to powder my face. Like, I usually have to heavily powder my face because I apply a hydrating foundation because I have dry skin and then it's like a mask of sticky, sticky whatever all over my face and then the powder just lifts my foundation and then it's like, you know, 
and then the cream product blended perfectly and uh, the highlight went great. I didn't have to spray the product or anything like that. Um, the, the bronzer, I mean, I usually have trouble with bronzer because it's hard to find a good color for me and sometimes it's hard to, like, either I, I apply too much or not enough, but I mean, I, I have a heart-shaped face so it's like, it's hard to figure out where to start my contour, you know? But, uh, let's see, any negatives? One thing I will say, it, it does take a little bit getting used to. I'll probably have to use it a few times over and over to really get like how to hold it and how to, you know, hold the different ends and, and you know, really computer. Um, and really, you know, be able to get my nose to look good because it's really, really hard to get my nose to look good. Um, but I mean, my nose looks fine right now. Um, it doesn't look great, but my nose never looks great. Um, but I do think it'll take a little practice. Um, it's not, I mean, I was going to say, you know, people worry about washing these. It says to wash and dry in a delicate laundry bag, which I do have, uh, or gently hand wash in warm soapy water, rinse, and then thoroughly blot dry, which I can do either. Um, so, I mean, if you're scared of putting it in your washer or dryer, then just hand wash it very, very carefully. I mean, the seams are, I mean, they look pretty good. Um, I don't really see any issue, but I don't really think I'm going to have to wash this, like, right now. I think I'm going to have to wash it after my second use, maybe. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, but it it's an outstanding product. And I have seen so many reviews, and I was just like, everybody loves Tati. She's nice, and... She has a big following, so why wouldn't they love her product? But honestly, this is a very interesting product. Um, I didn't apply that much powder with it, which I will. I will keep applying powder and I will add stuff in the description below. Or I can do an update video or get ready with me, stuff like that. Um, but for now, first impression, this is a great product. Um, $18 well worth it. I mean, really, really worth it. I have so many brushes that this will replace. Um, they're weeping right now, I'm sure. My Sigma brush is being dethroned. Um, and I just think this is a fantastic product. Um, and I mean, I bought this myself. I don't, I don't get any PR. <laughs> No, I don't. So, I mean, it it shipped real fast, got to me real fast, and it's a great product. And if you are looking for an alternative, alternative to a beauty sponge or brushes, then I would definitely give this a try. Um, the only issue was I used a little bit extra foundation, and it has a little bit of a learning curve. That's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This video was a little longer than I anticipated, but everything went great. And um, if you stuck around uh, and you haven't subscribed, maybe uh, subscribe. That'd be great. I'm looking to get to 60 subscribers. I'm two away. So if you could, just subscribe, please. Um, and if you liked this video, give it a like below. If you didn't, give it a dislike and comment on like what you would like to see because I can't know what the dislikes mean, you know? Like, if there's something you'd rather see than this, let me know. And I'm not gonna be, like I would be mad about that. Giving more content ideas, rawr, I hate that. You know, <laughs> just 
uh, let me know. I uh, very, very much appreciate all you guys. I am constantly astounded when I get a new subscriber. Uh, and I just really, really appreciate you guys so much. Every day is just, I mean, I, I'm not going to get all, all weepy. Just every day is great that I get to do this for you guys. Um, as a Spoonie, uh, I mean, as a Spoonie, this is a great product also, I will say. This, this you don't have to buy a whole bunch of brushes. Um, but it's just great to have you guys and I just really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so, so much.